We've just been worming our uh, ram, Wiltshire ram, or Blackshire ram, Sirius. We managed to get him in this crush here. He's a big boy, he's about a 90 to 100 kilos. And uh, it worked a treat. You can sort of see what's what's happening here. We've used five gates to make this square enclosure. And then we locked them in with that gate where Amber's standing. And I had a hinge gate from this post right in front of us. And that's wedged him in. So we're just going to let him out now. He's been in there for a couple of minutes. There he goes, he's all done. So we had some FEC fecal egg counts done on um, Sirius uh, Blackshire ram and one of our lactating ewes. The ewes had a reasonable egg count which was about 600 um, and he was well and truly quite worm ridden and he had about uh, 1200. So the vets just recommended that we wormed him and the lactating ewes worm burden should drop once they've finished lactating and they've weaned their lambs. So this is what we've done here. We've just made this enclosure here. We don't have any sheep yards yet. We've got only got cattle yards. And since uh, Sirius was just by himself, we built a small enclosure just off his paddock. So he went in here. Once he was in here, there's the boys all having a look at us, seeing what's going on. Once he was in here, we shut this gate. And then we I forced him this way. I used this board as a shield. That blocked off that area. And then this gate hinged in. Like so. And then I tied it off the top. And um, sheep are quite comfortable when they're wedged in like that they can't really go anywhere but they also are quite comfortable um, as that is what it is like when they're in a, a nice dense flock yeah so um, he's all sorted and we're going to do another fecal egg count on him um, probably in a week or so and we'll see how his worm burden is then but that went pretty smoothly he was pretty tricky to get hold of but once we got hold of him um, piece of cake. There he is. He's freshly wormed. He's all camouflaged in the shade of the tatoki trees. And that went quite successfully, so we'll, we'll probably uh, employ that little setup there in the future. It's a bit tricky put together because there's a bit of lifting and you need you need a few gates but um, a real no frills low budget way to get them in and lock them up see we're pretty happy with that now he'll we'll let him shed his worms out in this paddock and then I'll probably put him on some cleaner pasture so that he can eat grass without worrying about it being uh, riddled with worms because if you you shouldn't really leave them on the same pasture that they um, have been on in the past, especially when they've got such a high worm count. We want to want to put them on a pasture that hasn't been grazed by sheep for a while, and, and that way we can ensure that there's a low worms on low worm burden in the paddock. But he's pretty puffed. We re we uh, walked around the paddock and tied him out a wee bit. So he was a little bit more docile when he finally got into the crush. All in all though, it was a successful wee attempt at um, worming our ram.